Have you ever struggled with trying to find time to get motivated to do some of those side hustles and hobbies that you've got? Maybe some of those passion projects that you have your mind on for a long time? It can be tough. And I think one of the reasons why we struggle to find time on that is because we don't get that instant reward or gratification from it. Well, today we're gonna to talk about some ways that you can break out of that rut and really get shit done. So one thing that you need to ask yourself is, where's the urgency? You know, these projects that we wish we could be working on, imagine if we didn't have the time that we think that we have now. Suddenly, things in life can take a turn. You might have someone in your life get injured. You might have a child come along, which consumes a big part of your life. Think about that for a moment. If that time that you had was suddenly lost, would you be confident with the things that you've achieved so far? I mean, yeah, we can always make time in the future and a lot of people have to do that. But I think it really can light a fire under your ass. If you think about what if that freedom that I have now was taken away, suddenly taken away, and what would I do? Would I be happy with what I have now? So the problem with thinking that tomorrow I'm gonna have the thing that I wanna have or accomplish the thing that I wanna accomplish is that tomorrow never actually comes around. It doesn't exist. For me, one example is thinking about, I wanna be fit, I wanna have a good body and in a few years time, I'm gonna feel confident about that. I'm gonna feel confident about myself. But that will never come unless you make some serious sacrifices with your time at this moment, now, because there is only the now, there is no tomorrow. Whatever your personal goal is, if it's writing a book, fitness, producing art, or developing a technical skill, you are making a contract with yourself to achieve something. Too often, we get hung up on what the rest of the world expects of us, and we forget that these personal projects are in fact valuable timestamps on where you are in life. Over time, it sharpens your multi-skill ability, and it gives your life a depth that others might be surprised to find out about you. I encourage you to look back on your life so far and tell me what moments you look back on with pride and joy. And I bet it wasn't the time she sat on the couch while watching Netflix without the chill. So one of the things that you should start doing right now is keep an active tracking list of all the hobbies that you've got going and break it down into a few different categories. And each time you feel like you're getting lost and you feel like you don't have the motivation, go back to that list. It's kind of like a save point of what you've been working on in the past. And you go, okay, that's where I am at with this project and this is where I wanna go. And every time you do a little bit of work on it, add a bit more to the list. And make sure you always remember why you're doing it. Is, is it gonna make you happy in the future? Is it gonna make someone else happy? Sometimes some of the things that, the best things that we can do for ourselves is to do something for someone else. And I think that's a good message for everyone. So hopefully some of this stuff has lit a bit of a fire under your ass because those side projects and side hustles, they are super important. They will give you good memories and good value for money in the future. As always, guys and girls, if you have a comment or a question, put it down in the comments section and we'll try and read it out on the show. It's always good to get some insight from our viewers. We'll see you guys next time on Social Scope Podcast. Peace out.